Hello, and thanks for joining me once again to watch yet another example of our former free press earning the title Enemy of the People. Coming to us from the great Tom Elliott of Grabian.com, we have a clip of Republican Scott Perry absolutely shutting down one of these White House operatives pretending to be a reporter. Yes, ma'am. Can I just ask, what actual evidence do you have as opposed to allegations to show to the American public that would merit an actual impeachment inquiry of Joe Biden and prove that today isn't just about some of you. Oh, I don't know. McCarthy for the sake of enacting political revenge. Uh, Th this isn't about political Trump. revenge. We have the bank accounts. We can see, ma'am, you can see that the homes that the Bidens own can't be afforded on a, on a congressional or Senate salary. You also understand that it's not normal for family members to receive millions of dollars from overseas interests. Those things aren't normal. That's not normal to have 20 shell, shell country, companies. These things are not normal, and it alludes to not only just widespread corruption, but money laundering, if not influence peddling itself. And we also have the president, on, the vice president at the time on record saying that the prosecutor was fired. Well, son of a bitch, the prosecutor was fired, right? Because the prosecutor was going after the, the company that his son was working on. That's what we have. If you can't see that, if you are, if you are that blunt, look. can you feel that? This reporter is Siobhan Kennedy, Washington correspondent from the UK Channel 4. And she sounds like she's doing exactly what state operatives in American media are doing. Instead of following the evidence and digging for a huge story, what we see is the media circling the wagons and protecting Biden from investigations. That seems much more like what we'd expect from CCP or Russian state operatives, not truth-seeking journalists. Unsurprisingly, this is exactly what the Biden regime is demanding in a leaked memo where the White House demands the free press attack the Republicans instead of focusing on Biden. The marching orders read, it's time for the media to ramp up its scrutiny of Republicans for opening an impeachment inquiry based on lies. I think it's incumbent upon the independent media, it's incumbent upon us to explain to the public the truth. And the truth is that the president was never in business with his family and that these lies and false attacks that are coming from Republicans with no evidence, no evidence to back them up are in fact lies. Ramp up scrutiny? Maybe I'm out of my mind, but as someone who lives in the media, it seems like that's the only thing they do, despite Democrats controlling the country for the last three years. And in fact, this has been my experience from the Bush years to the Obama years. The media is always hypercritical of Republicans and very defensive and promotional of Democrats. But back to the marching orders, quote, it's time for the media to ramp up its scrutiny of House Republicans for opening an impeachment inquiry based on lies. Oh, so the guy saying that he's being investigated says that he's innocent and that the people investigating him are the liars. Okay, fine, that's absurd, but why would the media take that at face value, which they're clearly doing? I don't see any probable cause here. Uh, there's just no evidence. I have not seen any evidence. There's no evidence of any crime at all. No evidence so far that ties Joe Biden to any of this, uh, at least nothing that they have brought forward and that we have seen. Have you seen said evidence? No, not a scintilla of evidence. You gotta have a crime. <laughs> like, you gotta have some accusation you can make, and they don't really have anything right now. But nothing has tied the president to any of Hunter Biden's dealings. There's no whiff of him being involved or him being implicated in it. Every single one of them is saying, there's no evidence in unison, just as a White House memo is leaked, demanding that the media circle the wagons and focus negative attention on the Republicans, who are out of power, by the way. But once again, they're not being truthful. Is there a perfect silver bullet piece of evidence? Well, not quite yet, but it's damn close. And we know for a fact that the media is willing to chase stories with a lot less evidence when the target is their political opponents. Evidence like, in July 2023, former Biden business associate Devin Archer described how Joe Biden was the brand and was used to send signals of power, access, and influence to enrich the Biden family from foreign sources. Two, Devin Archer alone was aware of at least 20 times in which the Vice President Biden spoke on speakerphone with Hunter Biden's foreign business associates. Democrats would have Americans believe that these 
these phone calls with the then Vice President Biden were simply to discuss the weather. Three, in February 2014, then Vice President Biden dined with oligarchs from Russia and Kazakhstan who funneled millions of dollars to Hunter Biden and his business associates. Four, in April 2015, then Vice President Biden dined with Hunter Biden's foreign business associates, including Ukrainian Burisma executive Pozhovsky. Burisma was then being investigated by Ukrainian prosecutor Shokin for corruption. Five, then VP Biden had coffee with Hunter Biden's Chinese business associate, Jonathan Lee of BHR in Beijing and wrote a college letter of recommendation for his daughter. And that's not even getting into all the witness testimony from Devon Archer, the statements from Tony Bobulinski, the texts from Hunter Biden's computer and the WhatsApps from Hunter Biden's computer, Joe Biden's statements that are on video leveraging the ouster of Viktor Shokin in Ukraine and Joe Biden's unexplained income. Remember, Joe Biden has said for years that he never spoke to Hunter about his business or his business associates. But that's not evidence when you're a statement media operative trying to protect corrupt power. Now, this list of evidence compiled by the House Republicans has 20 total pieces of evidence of corruption that more than justify impeachment. Nobody believes for a second that if this were Trump, they wouldn't be using every tool they could to take him down because we literally just watched them do that. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments after you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.